Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to You Versus Them reading for October 2023. Okay, so this is your side. This is your person's side. The person you think about, the person you want to know about, the person that's on your mind. If you do not have anyone that's you're on your mind that you're thinking about, this reading is probably not for you. In the middle is the mutual feelings that you're both feeling at this time. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with you. Your thoughts about this person. What are your thoughts about this person? We have here, ooh, lovers. Really? <laughs> okay, and then we have the king of wands. Ooh, you're very attracted to them. And the two of cups. Okay, <laughs> there's, oh, there's a very strong attraction here. You're very attracted to this person. You're seeing them as your two of cups and your lover here. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Let's get a um, charm. Oh, we have a saw. What? <laughs> okay, this is weird. Maybe they use saw. Maybe they're a carpenter or something. A woodworker. Um, cabinet maker or something. But we have a saw anyway. So this might matter. Maybe someone cut something out or saw on something. I don't know. That might make sense to you. Okay, um, let me get a King of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be any sign, but this person could be, you could think of them as being very charming. Um, again, I keep on getting, you're, you're very attracted to them. Um, very desirable. Yeah. Okay. Let's, ooh, a golden opportunity maybe? Got the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, and now let's clarify. Why is the lover is here for Scorpio? Why is the lover is here? Yes, yes, yes. We have, ooh. Okay, what's with the two of swords? Choice, choice, choice. There's decisions to be made here, huh? Okay, so we, because the, the lover's card is choice card, and all twos are decisions, so you guys might not be on the same page. Maybe you can't agree on something here. Or someone's not, you can't make up your mind about something because there's, you don't have all the facts maybe. Okay, let's see about this King of Wands. Ooh, every time I tap into this King of Wands, whoever I'm tapping into, they're so turned on by this King of Wands. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it's, it's stressing you out. So when you think about them, you have anxiety, you stress out about this. Not sleeping at night. Okay. Let's see about the Two of Cups. Okay, you're waiting. You're, I guess you're waiting for them. Either you're waiting to, for the right time to go towards them, or you're waiting for them to come in towards you. Oh, we got the four. You want to heal this situation. You feel like this is a good opportunity here, um, and you want to heal this. Okay, let's see about their thoughts about you. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Can I pop that? Sorry about that. I don't know where that came from. Okay, what are their thoughts about you? <laughs> Do they make that noise? That came out of nowhere. I did not expect that. Okay. Ooh, the two of swords. Okay, you you both like, okay. This is it's kind of interesting, isn't it though? We have the, a male here. Um so but he's kneeling with his swords across his heart. It's almost like he's closed off to this. Just like you have your you know, of course that's the way the two of swords is. Very interesting. Okay. You're both don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, there's someone in the background in this one, though. There might be someone influencing this person or something that they're that's bothering them, that they're thinking about, that's... Um, yeah, there's something in the back of their mind, something that's on their mind. Ooh, they got the Nine of Swords, too. Look at you guys marrying each other. They're not sleeping at night either thinking about you. So you're both up all night thinking about each other. Okay. See, then we have the Queen. Of <laughs> okay, this this I don't know how this is working, but it is. You see them as the King of Wands. They see you as a Queen of Wands. There's a very strong sexual attraction here, guys. This is big. Don't get hooked on the gender, but it's kind of interesting how we have the guy with the girl and the girl with the guy. Oh boy! And then we have the angels. Okay, they're they're. They might be, you know, orchestrating something here for you guys. Oh, yeah, Queen of Wands. So you're both very attracted to each other. That's one thing is for sure. A lot of chemistry. Wow. <laughs> 
And then we have, okay, this person would like to work together with you on something. Okay, now let's clarify this Two of Swords. Let's clarify this. Okay, this is... Okay, this is one. Okay, so this is the um, page of wands. They want to get a message to you. They want to talk to you. They want to reach out. Okay, let's get a term on this. Um, ooh, they got the little the witch with the cauldron mixing something. They're planning something. They're working on something. They're probably working on how they could approach you, what they can say to you. Um, they're thinking about it. Okay, now what about this Nine of Swords? Okay, so now this is the Eight of Pentacles. They definitely want to work on this with you. Wow. Yes, Sari. Unless you work with this person. But they're, they're not sure how they can make this work for whatever reason that is. Now what about this Queen of Wands? The Seven of Wands. Okay, this person's ready to fight for you. They'll fight whoever they have to. They'll fight whatever they have to. They want to fight for this connection. Okay. And what we have in the body? Ooh, we have the hangman waiting. Gaining a new perspective. Being patient about something. Okay. Now. What are your feelings towards this person? What are your feelings? Ten of Swords. Painful ending. This was very painful that ended here. Okay, we have here the King of Cups. And the Empress. And we have here, this is the Knight of Cups. Well, there's a lot of love here. Okay, King of Cups. So, you're feeling that, um... You feel them as very loving, nurturing, caring person here. Maybe they hold back their emotions. But we also have the Empress here. And uh, for some reason, I'm feeling that this is not going to be for everyone. But someone, I feel, might feel like this person sort of sometimes feels like they're, they might act like they're entitled. I never got that before, but I'm getting it this time. Okay, let's see. And we have the angel. Boy, the angels are around you guys with this connection. Okay, I would I would be very surprised if you don't get back together. It feels like it's getting orchestrated by the angels. So now, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, um, Taurus energy. There is this creation. This um, now, I don't know what genders you guys are, but, but it. Only reason why I'm mentioning that because this could be the mother of of someone's um, child here. So, but the, th this is um, giving birth to something new. So your feelings are you like to birth something new also. It's like you like to create something new. This could be a new beginning with this person. This could be a job. This could be a, a business. Because maybe you guys work well together too. We do have the Knight of Cups. You're also thinking about maybe making a love offer here. Now let's clarify. Okay, why is the Ten of Swords here? Seven of Cups, options, choices, confusion. Yeah, you're, ooh, that, that wanted to fly out. Okay, so maybe you're wondering if they're having options or you maybe you have options and you're trying to decide what you want to do here. Very confused entry, though, for you. Let's see about this King of Cups. Ah, so here is the Page of Cups. Okay, so you might be thinking of making an offer here. Maybe even an apology, if it's warranted. Let's see. We have the hammer. What do you got to think with tools here? <laughs> okay, so with the hammer, you might be trying to hit the nail on the head. You might be trying to hammer something in. Someone might work with, you know, the hammer and the saw. They might be a carpenter. Let's see. Page of cups. 
And why is the Empress here? Six of Wands. So you want this to, um, you want to have a victory here with the Six of Wands. Your feelings are maybe there could be something that you can achieve together. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords underneath here too, but so um, speaking your truth, cutting out what does not belong, or there also could, I know for someone here, if it could be a Queen of Swords trying to keep this connection apart too. Okay, so now let's get over to their feelings for you. What are their feelings for you? Ooh, they want to speak the truth and cut out whatever does not belong. This is like, yes, we can do this. And five of wands, there might be competition. They're aware there might be competition. Maybe that's it. You may have got choices here. And this person is willing to fight for this. Three of swords. See, there might have been another party involved here. And I think this person is saying, I don't care. This other person, I'm going to fight for you. Or if there's other people involved in this. Because it could be that someone had someone else. Or it could be that other people or other something else came came in between you guys. It could be anything. If this person had an addiction, then they say, I'm going to fight this addiction to be with you. If there's a distance between you, they say, well, I'm going to try to change that. I'm going to, you know, move closer. Or um, they had a bad habit. Look how it's a bad habit. If there's people involved that try to sabotage this connection they're gonna cut them out they're gonna speak the truth to you though they're coming in with the truth okay so we have the bottom here yeah they want a new beginning okay now what about this ace of swords now this is okay now this is the page of pentacles they're coming in with an offer they're gonna offer you something here um we have some kind of music. Maybe they, maybe they're in music, or they're they're gonna sing you a song or something. To you'll know if it uh, makes sense to you. Page of Pentacles. Okay, what about this Five of Wands? Why is Five of Wands here? Okay, we have here the Seven of Swords. See, there's something going on here. Something. Maybe they are fighting something that, and they're keeping it from you. There could be some kind of, like with the seven swords, this could be lies, this could be deceit, this could be um, them holding back. S someone trying to um, steal something here. They're fighting for something here. They'll feel like they're, but they might be holding back too. Let's see. Why is the three of swords here? And we have here, this is the Three of Swords. Again, wow. So, there's definitely some kind of in, intrusion here. This person, I don't, I almost feel like, I don't know if you know this, this person right now might be already fighting something. You don't even know they're doing it. Okay, we have here, the queen of wands yeah they keep on thinking how they want a new start with you i don't know i think they might they might be over there trying to fix this situation without you even knowing what's going on there might have been something that happened that they're finding out or they knew about and you never knew about and they're 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 going after this person or this situation trying to fix things here okay now let's see what action might you take towards them what action might you take towards them? Okay, we have the devil. And then we have, oh, we have this ace of pentacles. And we have the four of wands. Wow. And we have the nine of pentacles. Someone's, they're trying to do something on their own too. What are you guys, are you both trying to fix these things on your own? It would be nice if you work together on it. <laughs> Let's see, why is the devil here? Devil Capricorn energy. This could be fear. This could be an addiction. This could be jealousy. It could be possessiveness. 
feeling trapped. We have the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Queen of Wands keeps on coming up. So, unless there's another Queen of Wands, I feel like they're very attracted to you, but maybe there's someone else in their life too that is an Aries Leo Sagittarius. And maybe you see them as the devil. Let me see. We have a rose. No. Okay, I'm taking this as your energy. Hmm. I'm getting everlasting love. You know, the rose is very high vibrational. It's, you know, that's why it's a symbol of love. It's also, if, you, if you're into essential oils, it's the most expensive oil because it takes so many roses to be able to just get a little bit of the oil. So it's very expensive, but it's very high vibrational. It, you know, it's one of the highest vibrations. I think it is the higher vibration. Queen of Wands, let's see. Someone could be named Rose. Let's see about this um, Ace of Pentacles. Mm. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. I was just going to say what the Ace of Pentacles could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But now we have the Knight of Pentacles, which of course is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you might be planning on something. You might be really strategizing how to do this. We have here the Snowflake. Something unique, something different. Okay. I'm also getting, you know, not much time. A Snowflake will melt real quick. could have something to do with snow and here we have the four of wands commitment nine of cups okay you definitely see this a uh, connection with this person and something happening here we now we have the king of pentacles Taurus, virgo capricorn energy i think you're working on also on your finances because the this is the nine of pentacles is like someone that is working on their prosperity doing really well um this is the the nine of pentacles a minor of the empress card so then we have the king of pentacles here so either there's someone in the background for some of you guys that is have their own business own company or something like that or this could be you doing quite well financially or it's your energy let me get a charm on this king of pentacles Ah, okay. So now we have an airplane for this. So the King of Pentacles could be someone that is at a distance. This could be you that you're at a distance. Maybe you're traveling a lot, or maybe you you want to travel towards this person. If this is your energy, or there's something about a King of Pentacles and distance. I mean, it doesn't have to be physical distance. It could be that you just guys aren't talking, but you could be really focusing on your Pentacles here. Okay, so now let's see what action. It looks like you want to take action with this person. Now, what act? What do they want to do with you? Did they? What kind of action might they take towards you? Ooh, we have the King of Wands. Okay, I tell you guys, King and Queen of Wands, very strong attraction. And then we have oh, Seven of Cups, options, choices. And we have the page. This person is going to reach out. You both might end up showing up, um, bumping into each other on the way to each other's houses. <laughs> Okay, let's see the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have here the toolkit. Okay, so someone might be working with tools or they're using their tools. They're trying to make something work with you. Okay, King of Wands. All right. And let's get a charm on this page of Wands. Ooh, I got an angel wing now. Wow. Feeling divinely guided. It's like heaven sending a message or something coming here. This person wants to reach out to you some way, somehow, whether it's a text, a phone call, showing up at your house. They're planning on reaching out to you. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun. This is a very interesting sun card. Look at that. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, but look at this person. Someone's pushing someone out of the window. <laughs> You know, that's very odd. But in order to some, get someone's happiness, they might have to feel like they have to beat someone out. You know, like um, 
There might be someone else that they have to triumph over. Okay, let's see about this King of Wands. Okay, so we have here the Magician. Oh, yeah. This person is going to manifest you. They're working hard here. And what about the Seven of Cups? Ooh, the Ace of Swords again. They want to speak their truth. And the Page of Wands. Okay, so we have here, this is the Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. They're going to tell you they want to work up. They want to team up. And we also have here, this is the Knight of... Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're both trying to plan your strategy to come towards each other. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, taking your time, making sure you do it right. I think you're both really planning, think, doing a lot of thinking how to make this work. We have Okay, we have the zombie here. So this is returning from the dead. This person's trying to come back in. That's for sure. Okay, let me get the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, I would say you're both wanting to come back together i don't think either one you want to be separated whatever happened you know someone else i almost feel like someone else came in between you guys or something else okay let's see what your mutual feelings are cutting cutting out whatever does not belong here i think you're if you have to remove people situations or whatever it is, you both want to cut things out there that are coming in between you. And we have control. Take control of your life. Take control of the situation. Other people might have been trying to control this, and you want to take control. And there's deception. You both feel like you've been de deceived somehow, but you both want to nurture this connection. Okay, guys, I think you guys are going to be able to make this happen. Looks really good. Okay, so now you have a strong chemistry, a str strong attraction to each other. Let's check out this King of Wands up here. We have committed, keeps the money, player. Okay, so someone, I don't know, I'm feeling like someone is getting a divorce or breaking up with someone's just saying, you know, with a divorce, just keep the money, I don't care, I want out. Okay, let's see. Someone's giving someone money. Someone could be telling you to keep the money, but you could be dealing with a player here. Okay, so now, what about this page of ones? Cheater. Drama. Serious. Memories. Okay, so we have a player here. We have a cheater here. Maybe you both had dealt with someone, or maybe this is something that came in between your connection here. Someone cheated, someone caused drama, but there's memories here. What about this Queen of Wands? Return. Apart. Obsessed. Yeah, they definitely want to return to you. They're obsessed about um, returning since you guys have been apart. What about this King of Cups? We have here a tower. Soulmate. Revealed. Okay, so something's going to come out of the blue. Something shocking is going to happen. Airy Scorpio energy with the tower. Something you're not expecting. is something. Maybe somehow you guys are going to reveal that you guys are soulmates. Something might come to light. Maybe you'll even do a um, past life regression or something. Let's see about this page of cups. Money. Money. Wow. Healing. Okay, so... Money, money, heal. Let me get two clarifiers for the money. Something about a page of cups. Okay. What, m healing. Okay. We have someone has a fistful of money here. Okay. And then we have someone lost money. Okay. So maybe someone somehow, I almost feel like maybe someone, maybe you guys have money together and someone took the money, invested and lost it. Now you want to heal from it. That could be, you know, you'll know what it means. What about this page of pentacles? Fair. Never. Together. Oh, they're fearing that you'll never get together again. Okay. Now what about this queen of wands? Committed. Lover. Before. Okay, so someone was committed to this lover before. What about this knight of pentacles? 
I got two on this one. Always present. Ooh. It might feel like maybe you're always take it how it resonates, either you or them, or maybe both of you. It's always you're in you're around each other. Even if you're not physically, I would say that you're still are somehow connected. Okay, what about this King of Pentacles? We got this King of Pentacles. Thoughts. The X. Later. So, something about the X and thoughts. So, you guys, if it's for you, you know what it means. Okay, now let's see. What about this King of Wands? What's going on with this King of Wands? We have here phone call. Freedom. Career. So, looks like they, they might try to call you or to contact you somehow. Maybe they're breaking free from their career or doing something. Or maybe they're helping you break free from something. Okay, what about the page of one? Instigate. Past life. Pleasure. Okay. Soulmate, past life. I don't know. You guys got a strong... You're on the same wavelength. I think you're marrying each other. Okay, so something about past life. Something is instigated here. Someone might be feeling something triggering that probably have past life together. What about the Queen of Pentacles? We have lying. Important. Spying. Ooh. So maybe someone's lying about something. Someone is, is spying. Now, might be for you, might not. Remember, don't make it yours if it's not. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. What are the signs? Actually, I'm going to move these over. So we have Virgo. Leo. Cancer. Gemini, Scorpio, and Aries. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, and Aries. Now we'll do the letter. We'll do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last initial and, and someone has a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have you... E O I S C V P L S D. Okay, so the letters we have today are U E O I S C V P L S D. Okay. Now, let's see what names we have for you guys. What are the names I want to come up with? Okay. So we have here a Ziz, A Z I Z. We have Clear, C L A I R E. Um, Tammy, T A M I. Artie, A-R-T-I, Drake, and uh, Usman, I'm going to run out of room here, Usman, Usman, I don't know how to pronounce that, U-S-M-A-N, and we have Kavita, K-A-V-I-T-A, -A. Alexander, Vicky, V-I-K-K-I, Jean, Janine, J-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E. and then we have Stavian, S-T-A-I-V-E-N. So we have 11, perfect. Okay, so those are names. And remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, then check out your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Something might res resonate with you more on one of your other placements. Um, 
might give you that missing link, the missing piece, the part of puzzle make everything click together. Also, at the end of each one of your readings, I always give you the link to the previous reading. So when the thumbnail pops up, if you click on that, that will take you to the previous reading, the primary issues that you're dealing with in your life in October. So um, if you want to check that out, just click on that and it'll take you right there. If not, I hope to see you in the next reading. But um, if I don't, I'm just so happy you heard this read. Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate all you like, share, subscribe. Um, super thanks. I, I appreciate it all. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.